Hello, hello, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Gary's Tea. And honey, I got one of my favorite, favorite doctors of all time. One of my favorite dentists, I should say, of all time, honey. Dr. Heavenly Kind. Dr. Heavenly Kind, say hello to all the wonderful tea sippers. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Gary, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Well, Dr. Heavenly, I'm glad you came on, honey, because, you know, baby, I know you girls be very busy and, honey, and, and, and money is time and time is money. So I'm just glad you came on with me, child. I got plenty of time for you, Gary. I'm always with the tea. All right, baby. Now, well, all right. Well, Dr. Heavenly, girl, honey, since you're always with the tea, baby, I just might as well get ready and start pouring some tea, girl. So I know you got your cup, honey, and get ready because the tea is about to be poured, knees. All right. So, Dr. Heavenly, girl, now, you know, girl, you know, in this entertainment world, honey, you know, it's a lot of shit going on, honey. You know, girls doing all kind of treacherous things, honey. Everybody wants to be a star, honey, but every star can't shine bright. Correct? They cannot. They cannot. And I every think, girl... Uh, I think, uh, what you call it, said it best, Venus. She say, everybody could talk about me, but I will always be better at tennis and, and always will be. And that's how I do it. <laughs> Okay, yes, baby, miss. She said that, baby. I'm like, all right, Miss Williams, you better speak that, honey. But you know, it's just something, you know, some stuff that's been going on lately that's been really just churning my spirit. Ooh. And you know, and when my spirit churns, honey, you know, I have to talk about it. And you know, I just, just, you know, kind of let the world know what's going on. In particular, now we all know, honey, that you know, there's the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and we know there's the girls that married at Medicine, honey, the show that you're on. But um, now, the Real Housewives girls, you know, they've been going through a little mess lately because a lot of people, Dr. Heavily, were upset and hurt with Portia. Now, first of all, honey, Portia is a dear friend of mine, and she's a colleague of mine, and she's a colleague of yours when it comes to the housewives or what have you. But people being messy about Portia and her to be husband, or should I say her fiancé? Well, now, her fiancé, Simon, we all know that Portia announced that she's engaged. And this man gave her a big old diamond, and diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, and yes, I could you sit there? You go, honey. Now, nah. but the thing is, though, Doctor Heavily, her um, Miss Fallon, the ex-wife to be of Portia's fiance, she said something, Doctor Heavily. I didn't know if that was right. She said she just made the statement allegedly that she should fuck Dennis now. Ooh, since Portia <laughs> is with her man. Hey, I don't think Portia would care, honestly. <laughs> I mean, but if you go, I, you know what? Let me be quiet and say that this is all a legend, and I yes. baddie, I do. But Dennis, I mean, I don't know if he worth forty million. Well, so I'm gonna go for the highest bidder. That's what I'm gonna do. But I'm what about? Hell. But what about the man that loved you? Didn't I mean Dennis? I'm sure he loved Portia. They have a beautiful child together. So I mean. Uh, I don't know. I mean, and he's so hot, dog. It just didn't work out, Gary. I ain't even going to be messy because you know I love Portia, too. Yes. That was the situation. It just did not work out, and I think they agreed to go their separate ways. Now they free. They can do whatever they want to. They can sleep whatever they want to. She can do Bolo. He can do Simon. We can do all together. We can be all in there. I don't see uh, nothing. I don't judge the folks. No, and, and, and that's so, and, and I'm for Portia. I mean, you know, because allegedly, you know, Dennis did do some wrong, honey. You know, so when this girl was down, so now, honey, she's up and she can get a man. That's one thing that men don't realize. Men feel that because they are men, yes, you could cheat and you could have all the women you want because, honey, you're on TV now and you became an instant star. But you got to also remember, honey, a woman could get a man just as quick as a man could get a woman, honey. So, I mean, it goes both Some ways. Some women, Gary, everybody can't pick up a man like Portia. Now, Portia's special. I told you before, everybody can't do what Portia do now, just like everybody can't do what Venus do. Don't get out there and think that just because you somebody, you could do what Portia did. Portia's an exceptional woman. That's what I'm saying. And she got that mm -hmm. good good, obviously. Yeah, but they say it's all the same, child. But nevertheless, it, I, it can't be because I got mad and I and I know what man's worth. <laughs> so it ain't all the same. That's a lie. But well, yeah. Well, anyway, well, well, I, I, I know, honey, bless her soul, honey. Um, but it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just want couples to be together, you know, because couples are just breaking up on a regular basis. Y'all Hollywood children are just divorcing, honey, by the pound, honey. So it, it's just too much, honey. I mean, what's his name? Um. Him and his wife, um, and the cost. What's her name? The um actor. Can't think of his name. Damn, I never could remember his name. He just divorced. He and his wife announced they divorced after twenty seven years. I mean, you know, it's just Do these that, people have prenups? Cause I just don't see like how the women leave and don't get nothing out of it. Like, okay, 
I don't know this, and I'm just asking, and I ain't trying to be messy or nothing. But did did uh Simon's wife get some money? I mean, how long they been together? Uh, two years. So she didn't get that much. I don't think so. She may not be got. She might not get that much, but. It's just, I mean, but I'm like Steve Harvey, though, um, Dr. Heaven. I'm sorry. He said he don't believe in prenups. He don't well, believe in... He don't believe in marrying me, because I feel like, listen, if we marry, everything that's mine is yours, and yours is mine. That's how I feel. Now, if you love me, it's for forever. So you shouldn't mind signing a prenup. Uh-uh. If you love me and it's forever, I shouldn't, I shouldn't sign a prenup, because now if you sign a prenup, like Mr. Harvey said, it's saying that you prepare and you putting it out there that you will divorce. No, what I'm saying is these men with all this money um, are whores. So if you want to risk well, your whore on your money, let's risk it because I'm going to get half when I leave your ass. But if you're faithful and, I, and you're a good man to me, I would love you forever. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. will follow you. You know, if you're somebody who's worthy of me following you and you being my husband, my king, I will stay with you forever. But these men get this money and they start acting shitty. Oh, they yes. You, they do whatever. And I think that I need to have something on the side, i.e. a prenup in case he act a damn fool. True. Now, that's true, girl. That's cute. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I, and speaking of prenups and marriage, you know, I, I just got the story that Robin Robbins and her wife been together now for like 16 years. Isn't oh, that amazing? That is so beautiful. Yeah, they got... Okay, Gary, the key to a long-lasting relationship is just understanding the... Can I cuss? Yeah. Understanding the bullshit you're dealing with because certain people can deal with certain stuff and certain people can't. So everybody going to go through something in a relationship. If you can deal with my mouth or you can't. You know what I mean? Mm. He got to do with this man leaving his drawers everywhere he go. Or I can't deal with a man who don't work. It's certain things I can deal with and certain things I can't. And you just got to realize what it is from the very beginning. Yeah, but this is the deal, though, too, though, Dr. Heaven. I say, I say this to my female friends. It's, today's woman, like yourself, is different from the woman back in yesteryear, like my mama. See, the women, like yourself, honey, y'all have careers and you work and you bringing in your own money. Well, my mama didn't work, so my daddy worked and brought in the money. Well, my mama had to sit home, honey, which we didn't know at that time. She had to sit home and take a lot of shit. My daddy philandered, brought an outside child and all that. Well, y'all women today don't have to take that shit because y'all got y'all own money and stuff. But she had to sit there and deal with it. But now the woman that works today and taking the bullshit, she crazy. Cause they know way in hell I'm gonna be working. Hey, Gary, they they working and still taking the bullshit. I know. Like they saying that a man can't help but cheat. They can't help but tell their penis where to go. And you know if they <laughs> penis get hard, they gotta go where it go. He's gonna take it. I promise to God. I can't judge them. Cause honestly, if I don't think my husband has ever cheated. In fact, if he has, I'm telling you, he's been very respectful because I don't know the bitch, okay? Okay. So if, you, if he cheated, I would have to think in my mind, all the stuff we have together, the beautiful children, am I going to let all that go for this old dirty hole over here? Exactly. And that's the question. Because this is why I tell people that after I got older and realized it, my mom always said she would have not, if she would have ran behind my daddy every time she found him at some woman's house, we would have known who the hell our daddy was. I would have never wanted my parents to divorce. I would have never wanted them to divorce. So most of my, all my neighbors that I grew up with, we came up with both parents. So I wouldn't know how it would be differently. But, I mean, it, it's just... You can't, you got to look at that. I mean, it's, and it's just material stuff. But like I always say, it's easier to be with a rich hoe than a po ho. Because at least with a rich hoe, you can soften the blow. A po ho, you just, honey, you ain't got shit. I say you got to respectfully cheat. Because if you're respectful with it and I don't see it and I ain't looking for it, and it, you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's right. It's totally wrong. But if you put it in my face and being blunt and blatant oh. with it, disrespecting me and bringing the hoe around and, you know, all that, I can't take that. But a lot of times women will not, they'll turn a blind eye if a man got enough money and he paying the bills. I ain't saying that's right or wrong, but it's what we doing. If he paying the bills, we will turn a blind eye. Now, a broke dude, and I ain't going to use no other words for it, a broke dude, we can't do it. The people say broke dick is good dick. Can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about no dick, for real. I want mm -mm. my bills paid. I really want to be secure. You know what I mean? I want to feel when I come home that my bills going to be paid and my light's not going to be off. Exactly. They say, honey, you can get a dick when you can't get a bite to eat, honey, because a man will fuck you before he feeds you. So Ooh, <laughs> I, ain't no I, I, ain't I even got a chicken box at feed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, child, it's a mess up. But you know, so is life. Honey. I think that's one of the reasons why, though, Dr. Kevin, I'm not in a relationship. I don't trust no bastard. If you say one word out of context, I'm through. And I know I shouldn't be that way. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because I didn't ask for that damn lie. I didn't ask you for that lie. 
Well, you well, ain't my gonna thing, nobody, Gary. Cause I know. Dude, the dudes do wrong all the time. It's just stuff to overlook, and you're gonna do wrong too. So I just know. overlook it, honey. Yeah, but if I don't get caught, damn it. Anyway, right. child. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to go on, child. Now, now, now Gabrielle Union. Now, you know Miss Gabrielle Union. You're familiar with that girl, honey. Yeah. Well, you know, honey, now you know she's married to Dwayne Wade. Well, you know, one of Dwayne Wade's son decided that, you know, he was um female. So he's okay. um he, he ch they're changing his sex or what have you. Well, Miss Union and he and Miss Union decided to do a photo shoot, honey, with matching dresses. You know, they say the dress that this girl once wore on one of her movies or what have you. And, um, you know, it's just interesting. But Dr. Heavenly, it bothers me. I don't know why it bothers me. I feel that she's pushing this damn boy to be a woman. He, he's like only like 10, 12 years old, something like that. He's no longer older than 15. And they keep calling him his daughter. They call him, his name is Zaya now. And they keep saying, um, Gabrielle's stepdaughter. The boy is not a girl yet. I mean, they're trying to dress him and make him look like a girl, but that just, I just don't understand that for the life of me. And I don't like to say too much about um gay stuff because, honey, the gays, oh, God, how dare you attack him? He knew how he was. And it's more appropriate to say it because you probably understand it more. I don't talk about it, but what I'm saying is to each his own, I can only speak for me and my children. You know what I mean? If my child was gay, I would not love them any less. I would not care. But I think at a certain age, I don't think I would bring it out so early. Yes. I would time to get to know who they are, you know, and that's yeah. me. I mean, I ain't judging nobody. I would just say, no, me, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting it out there. So and, and, heterosexual or gay, you know what I'm saying? At that age, they shouldn't even be interested in an opposite sex, in my, my opinion. Yeah. And like you said, though, I would you know a little bit more about it, and so, and that's so. But I, you know, it just bothers me but because like, I mean, you just tell me, don't y'all know at an early age? Now I just saw a picture with you at the prom. You looked uncomfortable as hell with that girl. Oh no, you didn't, bitch! Everybody, man. So don't you know at an early age, like at four, five, seven, eight? Don't you know? I mean, at that point, the little boy know what he want to be. So do you try to stifle it? Well, and it's, it's important, like it's something wrong, or do you let them blossom in who they are? No, well, damn it, I understand, and we're in a different day and time, honey, from my day. Huh? But my thing is this, honey, I was called a punk, a faggot, and every damn thing else. And girl, I accepted it and moved on, child. Now, the children today, they saying they're being bullied and they jumping off of bridges and stuff like that, and what have you. But yes, you do know about it, but come on now. You, you think my, well, it, it's just. It's hard for me to even see that. You can't be saying that this is a damn girl. If you're a girl, then damn it, have the damn surgery and just cut it off then. That's how I feel about it. Cut it off. If you're a girl, if you're saying this daughter and you're a girl, just cut it off. Because my thing is, I still think you're too young to really know that. You may know, but you don't know. But then somebody may tell me, but the youngsters today are more advanced. I mean, yes, they are. Okay. They say, because I, I don't want these queens yeah. calling me, honey, and telling me all this, this, that, and other. But it's just really, it just does something to my spirit, you know, to, to see that. I just... I don't you know, like to talk about this kind of stuff, because I don't know. You know, these people, I mean, I think the gays are very powerful. And if you uh -uh. say wrong shit, you know, you can give your honest opinion. But you know, I love everybody. Funky Dineva, one of my favorite people, one of my favorite friends, T.S. Madison, all of them. But I'm very careful on what I say. I let uh -uh. them say it. So you can say it with uh, Gary... But my thing is this, for me and my children, I think I would have waited longer. That's just me, and I don't understand. And, and you know, all I can say is me and what I think about and, me. Exactly. And believe it or not, though, honey, I don't talk about it on the radio because it's too damn much. I don't want to go into it and all that. I don't want to try to argue with these damn people and what have you about it. But it, to me, it just saddens my heart because you never know. I mean, what you know, nowadays, honey, we switching, honey. We change Today's, honey, um, like... The girls used to sell an expression back in the day. Today's trade is tomorrow's competition. I know you might not know what I'm saying. Talk to one of your girlfriends, honey, and they'll tell you what that means. So, but anyway, moving on, child. So much for that. Now, baby, Miss Monique, girl. Now, your girl, Monique. Now, I love you Monique. Know I love a Monique. Academy Award winner, Miss Monique, baby. Honey. Now, Miss Monique. Some lonely hoes at your house. They can't go to the picture show with her. Okay, what? Understand. keep them single hoes away from you. Don't get no lonely bitch around you because well, you keep them because they thirsty and they're they, taking their try. Yeah, I mean, but, I got that good, good, like Porsche, so it ain't gonna work on them for you. Nah, but let me tell you, no, now, Dr. Heaven, now that may be so, but girl, now let's rewind the tape, girl. Her name was Mackenzie, um, um, what's his name? Um, um, Bezo, and his name is Jeff Bezo, the owner of Amazon. Now, remember, now Mackenzie and Jeff allegedly would go out on dates with their best friends. Mm -hmm. Another couple. And what happened? 
Jeff wound up marrying, damn it, the best friend wife. And there goes McKenzie just got her, what, $50 billion and she going on about her business. So sometimes it's not always so, honey, that your, honey, the single girls, honey, will be the ones to take your man to be them damn married ones too. Ooh, you gotta watch so, out for all the hoes. All the hoes are thirsty, Gary. I don't trust them. Yes. I always say I hate hoes. You know, I'm keeping mm -hmm. around me. I really oh, don't. No. I really don't. You know what? I, I like I like the gays, but shit, they might try to take your man too. Hell, I don't know. You can't trust nobody. No, honey, because bitch, I don't keep none of them around me. I don't have the damn gays around me. I'm sorry, honey, because the sisters, baby, back in the day, honey, we wouldn't, I would never, honey, let the sisters come no, to my house, honey, when I had a friend. I don't, I don't. And if somebody man is at home, I go home. Like, if I, oh, yes. if I went to choir house when her husband get home, I leave in a hurry. She, he'd be like, well, why you leave, bitch? I don't, uh-uh, I don't go. Like, for example, if I'm talking to uh, something with Todd, I call, I call Candy. I don't talk to people, men. I just don't, and I would like the same respect. And it ain't insecurity. I just don't trust y'all hoes, and I know what y'all capable of. So, exactly. And I mean, seven to me. But she can't call my man. And Stephanie Mills wrote the song. She said, keep away, girls. This one's all mine, honey. She yeah. said, I, uh, she said, I understand when you look at my man, it's a physical attraction, honey. Yeah, so, it's nah. I mean, it might be one for me, just me, but I think that I, 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 I hate hoes. I don't keep nobody around my mm -hmm. head. And you know, speaking like him, you know, people be trying to text him to get at me. Bitch, yeah. you did the wrong way. Don't come through my man trying to get to me. You would never get to me that way. Okay, now. So, you know, and speaking of Candy, we got to come back to her, but I want to finish this Monique thing. But, so, Dr. Heavenly, how you feel about Monique saying she don't long, she tired of seeing y'all black women in the airport with bonnets and pajamas on and slippers on in, in the airport? Who do that? Back in That's, the day, I remember people used to dress up to go to the airport. They put on their shoot and tie. And thank you. I don't know what the world has come to. Well, y'all she's Y'all sleep with everybody. Everybody sleep with everybody. Y'all mm. come down here. Y'all dress in your goddamn kind of way. Come mm -hmm. to work. I don't understand these young folks. I mm -mm. think, they, and it ain't just. I mean, cause I think I, I, I did a good job raising my kids. They just think different. They got hair all over their heads. I would yeah. love to hire some of them. My my son right now happy nappy hair. I don't like it, but ain't shit I could do. But it's a cute style though he wears. I like I don't like, it. I don't I like, like it. his style. I don't but, like it. Well, but well, we don't like I mean, I don't know. It's just these women are wearing pajamas That's and bonnets. Yes. I'm just gonna go and put it out there. I think it's trash. You should not wear pajamas and stuff like that. I'm no. gonna do. Don't do that. Come dress nicely. I mean, even if you wear like a jogging suit or something, you know, yes. all up. but don't come in here there looking all damn kind of anyway. I don't like it. Okay? Well, they attacked her. They let her know, bitch, wait a minute. Don't tell us how to dress, damn it. They said, girl, you look how you look. Cause when she did the table, she was taping from her house. So, honey, so she had on something lounge wear or whatever, but a lot of people got offended, honey. So that's why, you know, you can't say nothing nowadays, well, you know, honey. Get offended by any old damn thing. And this just my damn opinion. So get offended all you want to. Hell, I don't give a damn. I don't care. <laughs> How you gonna care what this is my opinion? That's it. You ain't gotta do what I do, but I'm trying to tell you how to get there. You ain't yeah. gonna because you might meet your boss in a Fortune 500 company. Yep. I don't know your ass you had on a damn uh moon <laughs> dress and a damn cat <laughs> thing. I didn't realize it, but Bravo taught me one thing. Your appearance means everything, you know? Oh, yes, it does. Well, <laughs> shit, I learned that. I looked the best at the reunion. I did. I got it all together. So, uh, all right, baby. Got your look together, honey. But I learned that as a child, how to dress nice. And my mom always said, honey, you need to put on something nice and not up on it to keep some good underwear because you never know if you're getting a wreck or something, have on and some ragged ass drawers. I'm going to talk about the men with their asses hanging out their pants and hanging down too low and all of that. I How know. That I know, honey. The men, you can see his damn underwear and you know they said that come from prison so are you representing you want somebody to get your booty or whatever and here it was me honey you taught me all kind of damn punks and faggots about my booty but you walking around with your damn pants hanging down want somebody to get your booty and i don't even wear that look i wouldn't dare it will be offended if somebody gay say something look exactly at it. Yeah. exactly people gonna look at it Mm, it's it's too much, though, honey. We just gotta pray, honey, for those people. It's a mess, y'all. But you know what? Now we were talking about candy, and I know you love candy, and I love candy. But I have something here. Let me um see now. Oh Lord, I don't know. Here, don't come with no shit, boy. Now here's the story, though. They're saying that Candy Burris celebrated the first day of Gay Pride Month by donning y'all a beautiful rainbow outfit, complete with rainbow sandals, red extensions, and a rainbow parasol. Now they're saying y'all that the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta star who confessed. To having sexual preferences for both men and women, share photos of her colorful getup on Instagram, y'all, on Tuesday. I didn't know Candy was bisexual. No, I didn't. Nobody told me that. Did they say that? I don't think they said that. Oh, that's what the story said. 
Oh, well, I, I, I know that Candy has been very open about doing threesomes. I, I think that I think that's safe to say, right? Yeah, well, yeah, oh yeah, it's safe to say, honey. Yeah, but now they got a quote. So if you doing women, don't they automatically make you bisexual? Uh, what, I would what, think if a man did another man and a woman, he would be bisexual, right? If a man did, uh, yeah. So well, if that, a woman do it too, that's bisexual, right? Well, this is what she said, though, Doctor Heaven. She said in 2017, it's a quote. It said, she said, I've said. On Housewives before, I have said on Candy Coated Nights before. Yes, I've had a girl experience. Now it's not a um secret. She said, but I'm very happily married with my husband, and I am not a lesbian waiting to come out of the closet. Unquote. What is that? Huh? What is that? She's not a lesbian. Yeah. She's a, you know what? Candy is a phenomenal businesswoman. I tell you, I look up to her now. She used yeah. this platform for what you need to bring it for. Every day uh -huh. she have a new damn business. I don't care about her sexuality or who she's sleeping with. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's so much more you could talk to about Candy other than that. And don't nobody care if she want to do three women. That's, so, that's her business, okay? My and, own thing is to do one man every, every, every blue moon. I do my man. It's up to you what you want to do. But guess what, though? Well, why are you telling us then? If it's her, yes, it's her business, girl, why are you putting it out? Why are you telling oh, us that you had a... She said she was a lesbian? That's what you're saying? No, she said that she had um a bisexual experience. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I, I mean... But... Know, well, I don't understand that, but you know what? To each his own. I understand it, because some men will have sex with men and swear to God they're not gay. So Well, they I not don't... gay. Well, they not gay, Dr. Heaven. That means you are experimenting. Okay, but they like it and they continue to do it, but they're not gay because they would never marry a man, but they just enjoy having sex with men sometimes. Yeah. This is my thing. You are what you profess from your mouth. There you go. That's it. Whatever you want to call it, call it whatever you want to <laughs> call it. Okay, if you want to be a whore or you just getting money, I, I mean, call it whatever you want to call it, whatever you feel comfortable with. Because I'm not gay or straight, Dr. Hamlin. People must understand that I'm confused. So I'm done. You know, that's... I think, the, the, I think we all confused, Gary. Not yeah. Gary. I'm just confused, honey. So, and you know what? Speaking of confusion, y'all, did you hear what OJ Simpson said about honey? Um, um, what's her name, child? Miss Kate Jenner. He said, "Bitch." First of all, he said this, honey. He said, "Honey, um, is a gold medal, honey, qualified to be a governor? Does a gold medal make you qualified to be the governor? Because you know, Kate wants to run for governor of LA, and um, OJ said, "Girl, just because you got a gold medal, do they qualify you?" But well, there's some people. People that ran and didn't have the qualifications. Let's get with Ronald Reagan. He was a dang movie star. I mean, let's get with yeah. Ronald. He was a reality star. I think anybody with the popularity and money to run, and y'all talk the right stuff, you can win. I think anybody can be the president. Anybody. Yeah, can the, be the president. Look at Sarah Palin. Look at Donald Trump. Hell, come on, man. Yeah. But, but why OJ can't run for um a president then? Uh, for yeah. governor. I mean. Anybody can run. Run. He might win. Hell, you can run. Yeah. And you got I mean, a campaign and campaign manager, and you got that backing, meaning that money from somebody from the Democratic or Republican, you can win. Anybody can yeah. run. Yeah, but I think hmm. that a lot of people are still closed-minded to somebody like Caitlyn Jenner, though. Okay, that's a lot. You know, I'm not judging, but I think it's a lot. For a man gold medalist to turn into a woman, and then that's a lot of people not going to agree with that. A lot of people are closed minded mm -hmm. on that, so that's going to oh, be. Oh yeah, big... yeah. Now the, the the gays probably well the gays don't even like Kate Jenner because this girl didn't know who she wanted to be, baby, and she said some disparaging things, honey, about the girls, and they said, honey, uh, uh. So about I don't guess gays? she would make. Oh yeah, because you know this What's girl, honey. Say? First of all, this girl said, honey, a, a, a transgender should not participate in a sport. You know, it's a man sport. What one? Which one was it? Was it track? Or she shouldn't run track if you was once a man and now you transform to a woman. Well, that's, that, that, that unfair. That's not fair though, because if you're a man, you still a man. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. If you come against a woman, you got an unfair advantage, right? Maybe that's what uh -uh. she. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Well, yeah, she was going there, but that's not fair, honey, because the girls didn't like that. Because if she yeah, said now nah, she running against a dude, let me know, because I probably ain't gonna win. Don't do no boxing and shit. That's still a man. I don't give a damn. Well, let me hush. I don't know. Mm -mm. No, because. If she had it removed, honey, she's no longer old man. She's she a woman. Said, does she still got everything else, the muscle fibers and all of that to beat a bitch running? So it ain't fair. Well, I'm with um 
the woman. And Kate, how dare you talk about the children like that? And here you one of them, and you sitting here, honey, trying to say stuff, honey, that a doggone man, honey, couldn't um can't participate, even though she's no longer a man in her mind or uh, in her appearance. So there you have it, honey. So do you talk to um to Ti them, honey? Oh, no, I don't know them like that. I like them, though. They, it seems like they do a lot of giving back in the community. Um, he has a very special voice. And a lot of times I think that he's under attack because he's so political and he has so much to say. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, these girls saying all that madness, so, honey. You wrong, Don't say- no, find this shit, Gary, because I'm not <laughs> going there with you, nigga. I'm not. I'm not. Well, we go I all of us. Tiny. I will say that I understand everything's going on, but I will say a lot of times you don't know what's true and what ain't here, so just shut up. And that's true too, Dr. Heaven. But I thought the old girls say, honey, wherever there's a little smoke, there's some fire. Well, that's that that ain't necessarily true because a lot of shit has been said about me that's absolutely not true. Okay. So people yeah. make up shit all the time. I mean, oh. you know, I, I just feel like I, I don't know. I do think that it's been said that they are promiscuous in their relationship and they do other mm-hmm. people. So all that when you say smoke, maybe that's the smoke. But as far as like all the other shit, I don't know. I don't believe it. I don't believe shit till you see it in my face. Even when but, I see it, I might not believe it. Well, they said it was, con- um, it was consensual. Some of the things were consensual. I believe that. So, I believe that. So, I believe but that. anyway. I believe it was consensual. But I don't know, hell, but I ain't going to judge them. I think that they're very good um, giving back. I've seen them do so much work in the community. And I say, I ain't getting in that shit with you, Gary. Yeah, well, look how many damn people give back. Cause a lot of pastors gave back. It was screwing boys, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, uh, <laughs> I know some of them, but I ain't got you. Uh, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Allegedly. Alleg- oh, yeah, allegedly, even though those girls got paid. Mm hmm, allegedly. So, Dr. Hill, let's talk about you. What's going on, child? Now, uh, Married to Medicine Girl, we love Married to Medicine, honey. You know, I love that show. I watch it on Sundays, honey. And, baby, I mean, <sighs> I, I, I just don't know. Girl. I can do the rundown for you. Jackie is classy, but she messy as hell. I'm going to just go and put it out there. She messy. They be oh. telling me I'm messy. I ain't as messy as that bitch. I'm going to let you know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Anila, the new chick, she's nice. She brings her whole family and she brings a different dynamic to the show. She's Indian. For real. Mm-hmm. Not like the other bitch complaint com- says she was or whatever. But she's nice. Her husband is a, a ocular plastic surgeon. So that's mm-hmm. good, right? They got yeah. a beautiful three million dollar house. I love it, love it, love it. Go down. Yeah. Simone is is a is a flip flopping bitch. Okay, we just gonna put it out there. She flip flopping. Well, I think she agreeing with you now. Though. I thought this last time she was agreeing. I look like I saw some of the friends she said. Beginning, I was her friend. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm very blunt. Any anytime you hear somebody that uses profanity that acts the way that I do, I'm very blunt. But I don't be lying. She knew that. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to. She got to be exposed when she should have learned from my mistakes, right? See, dealing with she who shall not, who shall be remain nameless. We're not even gonna say the bitch name because we ain't even getting her two times on here, okay? But I oh. told her not to do business with that woman. Oh, what with, with, with Dr. Simone? I told Simone not to do business with the lady who oh, shall the other- remain nameless. Yes. Oh, oh. So now Simone agrees with me, but she it shouldn't have took all of that. She knew exactly. That. Especially if she was a damn friend. If I'm your Simone friend, damn it. Listen. The wrong damn people. The wrong yeah. damn people. There was another girl who shall remain nameless that's a little bit bigger. She was on her team against her friend. Simone, stop it. What about... What about uh, let's talk? What about and oh, Doctor Heaven, this hurts my spirit, honey. Oh, yes, doctor, it does. Uh, it does. D- doctor, uh, that's going through the, the divorce. Uh, talking about divorcing, Contessa. Yeah, Contessa and her husband are very special and near and dear to my heart. They have a lot of things they need to talk about and work through, and it's very confusing because I say, and you know, I don't be want to say the wrong shit because people get mad and be mad forever. I feel like they have a functionally dysfunctional relationship. They have a lot of issues, but Contessa is able to sit them under the rug. And what's confusing is the shit is real, but on Instagram, they take pictures like they happy as hell. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. I just saw something on Facebook because I follow them on Facebook. I'm like, I think that when they see the episodes, they want to pull back from them. And it's absolutely real. I think that they just say, okay, we're going to make this seem like it ain't real. So we're going to do this. But in actuality, they still going through things. Well, it, well but, but, I think I can put it out there that she's giving him a timeline to get his shit together. Yeah. Well, we ain't hearing nothing about him. I mean, it must not be no Atlanta women because, I mean, you ain't hearing nobody. Uh-huh, I agree. 
Cause ain't hear nobody saying nothing about it. Cause you know the girls talk, honey. So ain't nobody yeah, talking. Yeah, tell it or or he a real dude. Like I say, a real dude to tell you, you tell my wife I beat your ass. I kill you, bitch. Cause that's what I would do. I'm oh. married, actually married. I ain't just letting no hoes get away with telling on me. Come on, man. Oh. A real dude to set a bitch straight. I don't know about the rest of them, but a real dude to set a bitch straight, bitch. I kill you. Uh, and oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so wrong. I ain't saying that's what he should do. Yeah, exactly. That's what people do do. Oh yeah, honey. is he not from Florida like you are? Though, cause y'all ghetto in Florida. He's from Michigan. Oh hell, yeah, that's worse. That's what I say. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah, he probably water and they just fucked up over there with that water, right? Here. Yes. Oh yes, girl. Oh Lord, jeez. Yes, honey. So uh, I guess is it so? Q is okay, or uh, uh, you know? Q quiet. Yeah. Miss Quad, Miss Quad, she got it. She got it. She's single, ready to mingle, baby. I don't know what she doing. She probably got a little hoe in her. Yeah, I missed the party because, honey, I was very pissed off, honey. Because you don't, I'd be out there. I would be out there. I ain't gonna say two because I ain't saying she out there. But I would get my 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 rocks off if I was her. She a single, young, beautiful woman. Yeah, but they ain't got no goddamn good men in Atlanta for her. If she ain't got an African like Portia, no. But you know what? Maybe she'll pull a Portia and get a bitch man that's she, already married. Hell, uh, well, she better do well, something. Cause I, I'm wrong. I shouldn't have said that. Portia didn't know that damn woman, and they wasn't even friends. They just feel yeah. Like we don't be knowing them bitches. Sometimes. Exactly, honey. Oh, I, ain't saying I this feel sorry. I'm saying, don't touch my goddamn man. That's all I'm saying. Don't look at daddy because you'll get fucked up for real. Nah. Don't play with me, my bitch. Because I'm not going for that, okay? I know. And, oh, and honey, you put it out there, bitch. They should know, honey. So don't even try. Don't let the smile fool you, honey. So, okay. But Dr. Heaven, I kind of feel sorry for her. Because, you know, all these damn men, for Quad, she ain't going to find no damn decent man. They're going to play with her, but she ain't going to find no damn decent man because these damn bisexual men. Quad priced herself out the market, meaning that she got a $2 million house. She got these nice cars. I think she got a G-Wagon or something. Yeah. What do you bring to her? I mean, and the dudes that got real money don't want no 40-year-old. They want somebody 25 that can be. Thank you. So yeah, she's in a in a pickle, in my opinion. No, <laughs> bitch, in my in my opinion too, because you gotta remember, an African American woman with money like that, you can't get a man because honey, he's intimidated or threatened of you. Number one, so girl, like you said, you didn't price yourself out, girl. So you might just have to do like Jesus, baby, get you some dirt and some clay and breathe life in him and make your own man. Cause yeah, honey, you wrong for that. You wrong for that. Or, <laughs> or find your man that's malleable, like you can make help make him. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Yeah. Of yeah, that's the prison system. Then Sheree go down there to the prison. That bitch sure did, honey. Some good men yeah. go down there to the prison system and get you somebody. They ain't got to have educate. Go send them to school, pay for them to go to school and shit. Mm -hmm. Get them together, Gary. Help them. Build not, them up. Now, Nicki Minaj did it, baby. She got her man and out the pen, honey. She happy. And she looks happy. Yeah, she looks she say, happy. I'm not dealing with these dudes who act any kind of way. They got two nickels rubbed together. I'm going to find me somebody who, I ain't going to say ain't nobody, but somebody who it's going to act the way I need him to do, and they could be my bitch, okay? And just nah. do what I do. I ain't saying he no bitch. I'm just saying. Yeah, oh yeah, we know, cause girl, that's how I feel, honey. She cook clean, honey. Yeah, I can't do that. I mean, you have a flavor of the month. If I wasn't married, I wouldn't claim nobody though. They would not be on my IG. I would not, but I'd have a flavor of the month. Just understand that. But y'all can't do that. Black women can't do with their white counterparts. Do. I love it with the white girls. They can say, "Oh, we're what dating." What you do is how you do it. It's not well, what you do. It's how you do it. You would never know. If you saw me, well, I'm not claiming I'm not going nowhere with these dudes. If I was single, they come over uh, at 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. and they leave at 4. That's right. Period. Time for what I ain't got time, Gary. If I'm single, I'm not claiming none of these dudes. And you're going to have an alias in my phone. You're going to be Sharika or some damn baddie. That's right. Claiming you. Until we're ready to get married or something. And we just, and we, we be at the courthouse before you see up on my IG. You would never see a dude mm -hmm. with me. Well, Dr. Know. Heavenly, honey, you need to, you got to write a book, girl, on how to school yeah, these man, girls, honey. It's called the, the business of love. It's a business, bitch. It ain't nothing else but a business. It's some shit you can deal with and it's some shit you can't. You got to find somebody, come together and your assets together and find it and make a, make a, make a transaction. That's all. It's all a I transaction. Know. Call it what you want to, Gary. It's all a transaction, okay? Either you're not getting paid and you a slut or you making your money on the side. Get your cash register, girl. Make your money. Because either <laughs> way, you need to make your money. That's right, baby. Make your money. All right. <laughs>
Dr. Heavenly Honey, I thank you so much, honey, for stopping by. It's just, girl, you just, and you know what? I already know your ass crazy. I like people who allow me to be me and I can see what the hell oh. I want to do. Oh, hell yeah. Now, you know, baby, you know, I got that, honey. You know, and I love you for that. That's why I come to your damn office, honey, because, baby, she's the best dentist. So, Dr. Him, are you a dentist or orthodontist or cosmetic dentist? Because y'all got so many things. I am a cosmetic implant dentist. Now, I'm a general dentist, but I've taken the courses to become a cosmetic implant dentist with CE courses. So, I specialize in my office, not specialty, but mostly what I do in my office is cosmetic stuff, veneers, implants, crowns. We do the all on fours. We're very professional. Y'all know I be playing with the girls, but I'm very serious about my profession. Very. Also, I think it like, you know, it's beauty. Beauty is beauty. I also have a beauty supply store now. And very yes. soon we're going to do um, installs. We're going to have braiders there. We have the bundles. We got the beautiful hair. We got something for everybody on heavenlybeautyatl.com and come out and see us uh, in Kanye's, Georgia. We got hair from $29.99 to $999. So whatever you need, we got it. And Portia, I'm coming at you. I need your naked hair up in there. So come on through. That's right, honey. And it's the best hair, baby, baby in like Georgia. You, you compete with nobody. No, you don't compete with that. All no. of us can eat. All of us can eat. Uh, everybody. That's what I always say. It's enough for every damn body. You I can just give me a, a give me a slither of the pie, bitch, and you can keep the rest. I said a slither. Okay? So, honey, I heard that. So, now, if y'all in the area, honey, just stop by Dr. Heavenly, honey. Look her up if you need your teeth done, babe. This girl fixed the girl teeth, honey, who got knocked out, honey, at the unmarsh the other day. So, she didn't ask me to say that, but I'm just telling y'all that. Look that up, honey. So, I thank you again, Dr. Heavenly, for coming by. And I think I have an appointment. Is it next week or something? I got to get my teeth done, honey. These are my pearly whites by Dr. Heavenly. You look good, baby. You look real good. <laughs> Thank you, honey. So, um, Dr. Heavenly, thanks for coming by again, honey. Miracles and blessings. And you have a great day and a better tomorrow. Thank you for having me, Gary. It's always fun with you. Yes, honey. And you remember, y'all, now, if y'all um, want to, um, um, if y'all like this here, honey, just click on like, click on subscribe, whatever the hell you click on, click on the shit. We love you. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye, Dr. Heavenly. I'll talk to you. Mwah.